Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Midday Market Update. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here. If you can hear me loud and clear, please, by all means, respond in the chat, preferably with VV Nation, to let me know that I am coming across loud and clear. First trading day of the week. Um, we did have some event. We had an eventful weekend in that. Um, we had an attack. We had a, a military attack with Iran actively going directly at Israel, which is the first time I think they've done that directly. And I did post it on YouTube, sorry, on uh, Twitter, that I thought that today was going to be a bloodbath, all right, that we, you know, we were going, that it was going to be a bloodbath in the market. But look at the market. The market is resilient enough. Look at that. All of the major indices are up. Uh, don't get me wrong. Do I not think that this was uh, a big event? And the answer to that is yes, I do think it was a big event, but I think that the market's resi resiliency is there. Retail sales are still going up. People are still spending money, uh, which means the economy is still strong. So it's a lot of different things going on, an attack militarily, resilient retail sales. Um, it, it's in the, uh, the biggest drone attack in history, says Pennywise. And Eton, thank you for tuning in from Israel. I do appreciate that. Um, so Janice says, thanks. 80 to 130,000, uh, 113 miles are not fun. What are you talk about, Janice? What, what was you in? Loud, uh, what did you say? Well, loud and clear. I'm back with power and internet after. Wow, you had a tornado hit last Wednesday. Oh, yes. Janice. Believe you me, I did see your email. I didn't respond, and I apologize for that, but I did see your email. Um, but I will say I was praying for you nonetheless, all right? So after I saw your, um, your um, post in here, I did not want you to think that I did not receive your email. Just had a lot going on. Just had a lot going on. Um, yeah, first Iranian attack in Israel, but not the first direct attack. They did attack. To Israeli embassies in the 90s scene. I don't even remember that. Um, so, so I, I think uh, tonight's video is, you know, every Monday I give uh, my, my weekly picks. This weekly picks, because of what happened over the weekend, will be about defense stocks for both the U.S. and Canada. So make sure you tune into the 6 p.m. video. Uh, tonight, my, my weekly picks will be top weekly picks defense stocks. Will will the Dow Jones go up this week? It's very interesting as you stay as you state that. Um, <laughs> why do y'all try to put me on the hot seat to predict stuff? I think that the Dow is going to go the way that the market pushes it. Um, there are some things that are still pushing the market higher. Uh, we keep talking about the anticipation of rate cuts. I keep letting you know how I feel about that, but I think that that's pushing the market higher. I don't think it's FOMO anymore. I think it is the anticipation of rate cuts or maybe the lack thereof, but I think more people think we're going to get rate cuts before the end of the year. Uh, Mark says, what does Joey think? So Joey, do you think the Dow Jones will go up this week? Do I think the Dow Jones will go up? Yes. It's up today. It's up to... Yes, so, yes I think it will be up today. So Joey's, Joey thinks that it's going to be up this week. All right. So I, 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 you know me, I'm not going to predict. I think there's just too many things going on. I think that the strength in the, in the economy will continue to push the market higher. But anything can happen between now and then. All right. So um, defense, oil, gold are the sectors to watch. I am going to say defense, oil, silver, and gold. I think silver has a little bit more upside than gold right now. Gold has gotten to a point where I, I perceive it to be a little bit overbought, where silver is not. I do like gold, don't get me wrong, but as the dollar gets stronger, and you're looking at retail sales, as the dollar gets stronger, it does affect gold adversely. Strong dollar, gold goes down. Weak dollar, gold goes up. So I'm just putting that out there that way. Joey know, Does Joey know what the Dow is? That's funny. It's, boat. it's not the front of the that's the that's the bow, not the Dow. No, no, you're wrong. Holy smokes. Yeah. It's uh, I always 
boat. I've never been on a boat before. I know it's I uh hold on. Here we go. Sigh. Uh, I, you know, Lee says the Bears are in full control. Let's talk about that real quick. I'm going to go to the software. Lee says the Bears are in full control. Does anybody, how many, of, how many of you believe that the Bears are in control? Type of one. How many of you don't believe the Bears are in control? Type of two. All right. How many of you believe the Bears are in control? Type of one. How many of you do not believe the Bears are in control? Type A2. All right. So let's go. While you're answering that, let's go look at a lot more people say no. Um, uh, Amir says, how are you just received? Oh, just received a notification. I'm fine, Amir. Let's go put this on a three-month graph looking at the market. I'm looking at um, the Bears do have some control. I don't, you know, what I call this full control, well, there's a downtrend off the high. How did I lose that? There is a downtrend off the high. So, Lee, I hear you from that perspective. Um, and to prove Lee's point right or wrong, notice this. There is a solid level of support. Lee may have some credence to what he's saying. All right. Mark says nobody is in control right now. All right. But where's the bias? I'm looking off the high, trending lower, a level of support that we've broken through. And even today, testing it now as a level of resistance, Lee, have made, Lee may have a point. Would I call it full control? No. Would I call it um, some semblance of a market reprieve, a pullback, not a correction, but a healthy pullback? That I would. I would call that. I would call it that. I, but I don't call it full control unless we just fall... That's a 45 degree angle, more so than a big steep fall off. Um, so, I, I, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Lee, good point, though. Good point. I didn't agree with you at first, but now I got to I got to at least pay some attention to it. At least at least with that, I've got to pay some attention to that. And this is this uh, the news have control at new. I want to talk about that. I, I, I so don't want to talk about that. All right. So that's what's going on. Lee, again, good point. I like the point. Uh, you know me. I'm, I'm always going to try to answer anything that comes up in the room the best way that I can. I do like what I see from a downward that it's healthy, though, that it's healthy. All right. Let's now get into some of the news that's moving the market. Big news. Uh, did you change? Oh, I thought you changed it just that quick. But you're not as fast as I thought you were. You are slow. Joey's actually sitting side saddle today. For, just for you guys. Uh, just to let you know, Mark Norton stopped by today. Um, so um, we were a little, eh, I'm going to blame it on Mark. We were a little late trying to get everything all set up. It was all Mark's fault, but Mark's driving right now. So he may or may not say anything, but it was awesome that he came by today just to say hello to VV, uh, to, to the Vector Vest crew. So um, he's, he's driving. All I got to do is tell him to just be careful. Just be careful. All right. He's got a long ride too. Um, retail sales top forecast is consumers keep fueling growth. And with that being said, I know we got the little downtime coming. Bear attack in the summer when volumes are low. You know, how many times do you hear it? You know, stay away and, and stay away in May. All right. Let the summer go out and get back in in the fall. I think that, that might hold true this year, especially given the idea of whether or not the Fed is going to cut rates or not. Uh, I think a lot of people in the summertime are going to be keeping their powder dry. We'll see. But keeps fueling growth. With growth, the Fed is going to have a hard decision on if and when, how about we say when and if, they cut interest rates. With that, though, Fed Williams still expects rate cuts to begin this year. All right. So you got both sides of the Fed talking about whether or not we're going to get rate cuts. And I think the market is still expecting those rate cuts, driving the market higher. With all of that, uh, oil prices fall after Israel fends off large-scale area attack by Iran. If this attack had been a lot more fruitful, and I'm glad it wasn't, for Iran, oil prices probably would have spiked today. Probably would have spiked today. Santalal says gold and oil lower. Gold is lower because strength picked up in the dollar. Oil is lower because, as you're seeing right now, Santalal, it looks like there's not going to be any more response 
right now in regards to the attack on Israel that pretty much did not phase Israel at all. All right. You know, and, you know, the the NATO countries did aid in taking down a lot of the drones or missiles that were fired at Israel. And I think that Israel can look at this as more so as a win than not. Oil may spike later this week. Pennywise, I still own USO. I still have it. I still think with the Mideast tensions um, that uh, I, I think that oil still should by way of um, should still go higher, especially by way of supply. All right. So I still own my oil, my USO um, real quick. Um, oh, oh, wow. That was scary. That was scary. I don't know what that was. Something you did. It was something you did. I don't know what you're doing over there. U.S. start the week, uh, the new week positively. Strong Goldman. Goldman reported. Goldman did well. They beat. Um, Schwab rose 3% joining the positive sentiment, the sentiment. Again, we talk about the Israel, uh, Iran, Israel, uh, attack, which is again, why my stock picks for the week, uh, RTX looking really good stock picks for this week will be, um, defense stocks this week. So make sure by the way, Israel's iron dome was shooting, um, Raytheon missiles, man, look at that. So it's going to and But guess what, Pennywise? I don't think Raytheon met my criteria for the stock picks this week. Got to watch the 6 p.m. video. I think some of the um, aerospace and defense stocks that I picked may may surprise you. So make sure you watch it. I, I do like don't get me wrong. I do like Raytheon, but I was looking for specific things in the picks that I had this week. All right. Adobe. Let's get back into AI. Uh, Adobe opens a partnership. Uh, adds AI video tools. Adobe explores open AI. Ooh, who else is in open AI? Of course, Microsoft, but open AI still not a publicly traded company, but more and more people are jumping on board some collaborations with open AIs uh, to add AI video tools. So we're going to take a look at Adobe. This is big. Tesla lays off 15,000 workers, which is about a tenth of their uh, on their employees, 10% of its employees. That's huge. Why is that happening? Because they're getting affected on the bottom line hard, hard because of the war that they gone on between them and Boyd and blah, 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 blah. Man, how do they make the black, uh, the, the black, uh, key stay in the black and on the bottom line. That's a lot of people getting, uh, sent out of work. If you follow me on Twitter, I tweeted out that this is going to hurt. This is a big ouch. This, this is a big ouch right now. So we're going to keep our eyes on Tesla. I did make some money on a little bounce off of Tesla uh, to the upside. You know, I made double digits to the downside playing TSLQ. Um, then I got out. I got into TSLL for a day or two. I'm out of it now again. Right now, I need for Tesla to settle in before I take any more. Um, direction. That's good news for Tesla stock. Rob, for the standpoint of keeping the finances in the black, you're right. For keeping the finances in the black, you're right. But for the company overall, that's hurtful. Uh, earnings are coming on Tesla on the 23rd. Maybe this is what it needs. I don't know. So we're going to take a look at Tesla. Tesla is a company that does make money. But the upside potential RV on the company has fallen dramatically. Um, so we're going to take a look. It's one of the stocks that's in my list today. Uh, semiconductors likely to offer up muted earnings season. Interesting. I saw this. So I am going to look at SOXS and XOSL, which looks at the semiconductors in an ETF, rather than looking at AMD, uh, Intel, AMAT, NVIDIA. Why not look at the whole industry? We've made a lot of money on these tech stocks. We really have on these semiconductor stocks. Is it time to take them off the table? I don't know. I don't know. David says not enough infrastructure for electric vehicles. And that has been a big, a big bone of contention along with the price of the vehicles. All right. So there's a lot of things that have been against the EVs. I like them for the purposes of people were jumping on board, getting into these companies. All right, so I've been a proponent of uh, EVs, but I think the push currently 
is for the major car manufacturers to go push more into the hybrid space. Uh, we did a story a while ago on Toyota or Honda doing it. And ever since then, more and more, you know, Ford is, is doing it. Um, how about Apple got rid of doing an electric car as well? So I think a lot more push is going towards the hybrid space. And uh, I'm with that. I, I'm, I'm all right with that. I'm with whatever puts us in the best opportunity to make money. Dave says lots of layoffs this past couple of days for L3 Harris here at the Space Coast. Beware. Uh, again, David, uh, if you track me on Twitter, just about every day I'm tweeting out about which companies, um, which companies are laying off because, you know, you see the big jobs numbers come up, you know, week, week after week after week. But a lot of companies are laying off people as well. This is going to help them through earnings season to make them look better, all right? To help them make them look better. Here's a stock, uh, Longe Longevron stock rallies 85%. It's only up 46% now on Al Alzheimer's um, presentation. I wanted to take a look at the stock to see if it was worth it to either try to still get into it or not. But a lot of biotech companies do this. They, they, they spark up, they move. And then they get spanked. So I wanted to at least take a look at it. Anything dealing with Alzheimer's, though, is a disease that people want to get answers for and help to um, get rid of it. So I do want to take a look at that stock. Um, earnings Whisper, these are the stocks that are reporting this week. Uh, bank, bank, uh, bank, a lot of banks still reporting. Uh, bank. PNC, Morgan Stanley, that's tomorrow. Um, Schwab reported already. Um, something else reported already. Oh, Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs already reported. So uh, tech stock, ASML, Abbott, Travelers, Bank, 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 Bank. A lot of banks reporting this week. You guys know that I still think that the other shoe needs to fall for the banking uh, space. We're going to see a lot of these smaller banks, mid-sized banks, regional banks. We're going to see uh, what happens with them. TSM, I do like um, in this space. Did you see that? It wasn't Nokia. It was Samsung overtook Apple as the main phone um, company as far as handsets. It was Apple, but now it's Samsung. All right. DR Horton, uh, bank, and banks all the way. Ally. Uh, intuitive surgical this week, uh, financial on the bank, bank, a lot of banks this week, fifth, third bank, this regions bank. There's a lot of banks and I'm going to really, we're going to get a, a better picture of the strength or weakness, especially of the regional banks, uh, during this quarter. We'll see. All right. I was going to have a special guest on today, but it looks like he got tied up in his live stream and that was ron wheeler uh ron was going to come on today to talk about how to generate three percent per month with one option trade per week all right uh joey's going to put the link in the chat he does have a free online workshop it's free and this is primarily for the people who do know about options unlike uh a couple of weeks ago we had jim penna on which was talking about if you were brand new to the options place uh, space, the options jump starter course, this is the next level above that. Uh, utilizing one option trade per week to generate 3% a month, which comes up to 36% a year, just trading options. For many of you, I think it's a great way to have a certain portion of your portfolio you know, dedicated to options, a smaller portion. And if that smaller portion of your portfolio can generate 3% a month, uh, it might be worth it for you to go j click that link. It's free. Um, it's going to, in this online workshop, you're going to learn the major mindset, the uh, major mind shift, the mindset shift. Shut up, Joey. Three biggest mistakes. Stop talking. Cowboy. How to trade with very little risk and the bulletproof five-step system. All right, click on that link. Click on that. You know I love you, Joey. 
Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I love it. Click on that link. Reserve your seat. It's free. It's free. Absolutely free. And if you're looking to, to generate, look at this, an average minimum, an average minimum of 3% a month trade in as little as 15 minutes a day. You want to be here. All right. You want to be here. Click on that link. Reserve your seat. All right. But Ron was going to be here today. Unfortunately, he could not. But um, the big thing about this is that it's free. Joey is bulletproof. You want to go find out? Okay. Joey says he's bulletproof. That's funny. Talk about being bulletproof. Hold on. There we go. All right, so that's all the news that I got for you today. I'm going to get back into the system. Let's take a look at what's going on. There's the market timing graph. Lee said that the bulls have full control. And actually, I cannot really argue with Lee at this particular point in mind, um, point in mind, point in time, because there's the downtrend from the high. Here's a level of support that we broke through. Um, let's go add a parameter real quick. Technical analysis, support resistance. Let me set this up to um, change the style. Support is going to be red. Let me make it a little darker. Resistance is going to be green. All right. And I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to set this up, change the settings. 100 bars, medium average. So I can get a feel. Look at that. Let's break this. That was a good level of support drawn by the system uh, at a value of 6471. We broke down below. We have another level of support sitting at 6310 and another level of support sitting at 6216. So we are Lee. We are definitely moving down. We are definitely moving down. Down. Have to trade to the downside based on what the graph is saying, says Christopher. Head and shoulders. I don't see the other shoulder. Head, shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head and shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes. Yes, I still have grandchildren living at the house. So I don't see a full head and shoulders. I do see a shoulders. I do see a head. I don't have a, I don't have a, uh, a defined shoulder on the right, though. I don't see a defined shoulder just quite yet. All right. Um, let's go look at the indices today. Um, what are they doing? Mixed market. We keep going back and forth between the market was resilient enough that we were all green. Now we're going back and forth. This is catching my attention where the VIX, big jump on the VIX. You know, when we get to the value of about 20, on the VIX, we got full bone uh, fear. We're not there yet, but the market is becoming a lot more fearful. All right, it is becoming a lot more fearful. Janice says Quasimodo looking at Yeah, it wasn't quite, I couldn't see it. And then, yes, master. Quasimodo, no, what was it? Who, who was the guy in Frankenstein? Um, Igor. Igor. This is an Igor looking. Um, it wasn't Igor. Shut up. Um, Igor looking like um, head and shoulders. I just can't see it. Not yet. I can't see a defined shoulder over here yet. <coughs> All right. So mixture in the, the Dow is up. The S&P is up. VIX is up. But people are getting out of the cheaper stocks. Uh, the VVC is down and the NASDAQ is down. Big news, here's the stocks. VVC crosses the 40-day to the down direction. Again, Lee, Lee, I'm giving you props. Lee said that the bulls have full control. I, I, I can't say full control, but they do have control. When we get this volatility -osity, I like trading SPX spreads intraday. I think um, looking at the flatness or the volatility, as long as it's in the channel, may not be a bad play. May not be a bad play. Can you show the market timing graph in the JPI? No, Mark. There's there's no such thing as the JPI. All you people living in the Twilight Zone and in the Wizard of Oz. All you people living in Oz and Atlantis and in the Twilight Zone. We don't have the JPI. So there you go, Mark. 
I worked with a Ukrainian guy named Igor, says Pennywise. Uh, the VX, the v, VIX is not going up today. Um, it may not be going up today, but it, it is at a value of 17. Why did you, why did you highlight that? Because I can't show it. So why you highlight it? What? About the JPI. I can't show it. Yeah, you did. All right. Um, but it is, but it is a mirror at 17. It is. So the, the fear is picking up. We're not full blown fear mode, but fear is picking up a mirror. Uh, earnings this week. We looked at some of the stocks that have earnings. Uh, where's the mark? Where's the money going today? Let's take a look. The best thing to do right now, Amir, all of the major market timing calls are down. Um, I would be doing one of two things, either sitting on the sideline. I've been doing one of three things, sitting on the sideline, playing the market to the downside, or looking at the industries that are doing the best right now, that are doing the best right now. So Amir, what did I just, I showed a story about the tech stocks, right? I did show a story, Amir. I don't know where you were, but I did show a story. Um, there it is. Semiconductors likely to offer up muted earnings season. So in, in essence with that, I'm telling you, when it comes down to the SMCIs, all of these tech stocks, be careful with them. You guys should already be playing with half positions. I've been telling you that for the longest time. I've been telling you that for the longest time. All right. So Amir, that's a question that you don't need to ask if you pay attention to what Ryan and I have both been saying for the longest time. None of you should be playing those tech stocks that made you some money full bore. Everybody does understand that, yes? Type that in the room. We've been talking about playing half position on all these stocks that have been rocking and rolling. Yes or no? Yes or no? Type it in the room. Because with that, if we were not, if we if you type a no in the room, then we didn't do our jobs to have you prepared for what's going on in the market right now. So, Amir, you keep asking about those stocks. We've answered those questions about those stocks over the last few months, my friend. So when you continue to ask the question, I'm like, what, what more do we need to tell you in regards to that? Right? You see the chat. The chat is saying, we've been working on telling you that. All right? Where's the money going today? Looks like commodities. Uh, copper is up 1%. Healthcare, lithium, financials, materials industrials gold nicely up today about a quarter percent i have sqqq and s down other shorts i don't think that that's a bad way to go looking at what the market is doing i i i'm here i'm with you I, I i don't think that that's a bad way to go given what the market is doing all right what to stay away from today holy smokes natural gas the miners oil real estate uranium you know this is our little heat map about what's going on this is a little heat map about what's going on so a lot of the you know i still am in oil i'm gonna be fine with that i have stops on it uh i don't have anything in uh, uranium or real estate but i you know my big thing is i think i do have a no i got rid of my gold play i had harmony i don't think i'm in it right now right now you guys know I've been trading half my portfolio. I'm down to now a quarter of my portfolio. The rest of it is sitting in cash. I need the market to come to me and let me know which way it really, really wants to go and what stocks are moving. But I am in oil. I'm not in energy or gold. I, I did have a gold play. I, I, I made a good little piece of money on it, so I'm fine. But um, I do like commodities are moving. I do like commodities and moves. Just make sure you're in the right one. Um, let me give you some fish. MPI one day. Oh, notice that in the one days, there was nothing, which is another reason why I'm all about sitting back a little bit. I couldn't get you MPI one day optionals um, right now. But under the enhanced, I've got four stocks, one of which is going down. I wanted my relative values to be above one. It's tough right now in the, in the market's condition. It's tough to find the MPI picks, which I'm okay with. I think that that adds to the credence what Lee said, that the bears have some control here. 
that even on my, you know, faster picks, I still want you to be, it's not a lot, write them down, whatever you want, but these are my speculative um, MPI enhanced picks for the week. And there's only four of them. And one of them is going down, but three out of the four have relative values above one. Um, two out of the four have RTs above one. It was tough this week. It was tough this week. Um, Pin Duo Duo owns Timu. I don't know Pennywise for sure. Fitz says cash is king under the right conditions. And you know, sometimes folks, you guys don't realize that cash is a position. Thus, I've only got, I got 75% of my portfolio in cash. Only 25% of my portfolio is being active. It's not a problem. Let the, if the market's going to really start to show down, then let it, let it really, really show down. All right, so we're going to keep our eyes on that. You know me, I always want to keep a look on Contras. Even though the market was mixed today, let's see what Contras were moving. If LABD is up here again, uh, top 30, do I not have LABD? I evidently I don't have LABD. That's silly. Why don't I have LABD? L A B D. That should be in there. All right. Do you consider money makers the safest cash? Mm, Kathy. <coughs> no. Um, do I consider money makers safest cash? The answer to that is no. Um, let's go see something. Unisearch, let's go find out where money makers is. I think search is prudent. There it is. When you go to look at it, this search looks for buy rated stocks with above average relative safety, which is good. The results are sorted to bring the stocks with the highest relative safety to the top. So when I run this search, Kathy, I'm looking for companies that consistently make money, which is a great thing. Fundamentally, these stocks are sound. I like that. But understand this, Kathy, that the move of the market, the direction of the market affects about 80% of the stocks within the market. Even some of the best stocks in the database will be affected adversely. Does that make sense, Kathy? So do I consider this the safest cash? The answer to that is no. Do I like the stocks? Fundamentally, yes, I do. They are, they are um, optionable. So there is a, there's a, 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 a a golden side to that. If I do take these stocks, I can at least play options against them. So I can be protective of them. I still don't consider it safe as cash though. Does that make sense, Kathy? I don't consider it to be as safe as cash. But is it a bad way to be? No. I just be careful and make sure I've had stops on it. Kathy, are you listening? Does that make sense? I hope so. I wanted to make sure I answered that question uh, as we we're going. Along. All right, let's go to the viewers. We'll get the customer picks in a second. I got other fish for you. Um, my picks, same kind of stocks like Kathy is saying. Is cash as safe as gold? <laughs> cash and gold are two different things. Cash cash i ain't making no money but i ain't losing no money with gold or anything else whether it's say uh, um uh, money oh you said money markets i thought you said money makers my fault you said money markets safest cash aren't they guaranteed money markets my fault my fault money markets those are guaranteed in that you just have to stay in them for x amount of time you have to stay in in, 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 in in those, like you talk about like a CD or something like that. After they mature, you get your money back along with the little interest. Is that safe as cash? Um, if we're talking about that, then, then maybe, maybe. Let me, let me look into what a money market fund is a little deeper before I give you that answer. My money, they do pay dividends. So I, that's, that's what I thought. And if they do, you're guaranteed that dividend, right? Somebody back me up on that. You are guaranteed that dividend and you're guaranteed to get your money back, but it's a small dividend, but it's a small dividend. Is it the safest cash at that point? I'd say yes, because you're guaranteed. 
money market funds are not FDI insured, but the um, the asset itself is you're paying into it. It mature as it as, as for a certain amount of time. You have to own it for a certain amount of time. You, you guaranteed your money back, aren't you? Again, let me double check that. I'll, I'll double check that before I give you that answer. All right. Um, so here's my picks. Money market fund I use, it pays, I use as cash, it pays 5%. Again, I'm thinking that we're thinking the same thing. Mike says they're safe, but not just not insured. Well, if they're safe, then the insurance shouldn't have to come into play, right? That you'll lose it. I think that we're thinking the same thing. I think that we're thinking the same thing. All right. So it's not dividends. It is interest. Market is selling off, is it? It's getting bigger to the downside, little wick to the bottom, which means the market is picking up more momentum to the downside. Uh, we did, like I said, break through a level of support. We do have another level of support sitting at about 63.10. So we'll keep our eyes on that. Michael says it depends on where the money markets are invested. Generally, they are in short-term bonds and treasury, so they are pretty safe. Thank you, Michael. Thank you for that. All right. So those are my fish that I'm giving to you. Not a lot. There's not a lot because I need, right now the market's showing me more bias to the downside. So I'd be careful. I do have some low dollar portfolio picks. You know, these are going to tend to be less than $10 or so. Um, they do have good upside. Let's roll over to the right. Look at it. They all have double digit earnings, uh, earnings growth. I do like these plays for those people who don't have a ton of money in the market who are looking at stocks to get into. Now, with that being said, keep in mind what's going on in the market. I'd be careful. I'd be very careful with these plays right now, even though they are going up as we stream it. And even though it's, it is going up, I'd be careful given the market's condition. All right. Kicker combo is a fantastic heads up conf uh, confirmation. Folks, if you're, if you don't not have the system, We've got four major market timing calls. Um, confirm call. We're currently down. Let's go look at the DEW. We're currently down. These are all market timing calls. Primary wave. We are currently down. Notice that on this date, all of our market timing calls went negative. That was on 410, five calendar days ago. Uh, three trading day, four trading days ago. From a market timing perspective, we got just about everybody out of the market on the same day. And then you just said the kicker combo. Where are we? We are down. All of them make it so. This also goes back to what Lee said about the bears being in control. From a market timing perspective, folks, all of our market timing calls are down. So even though I've given you fish, I'm letting you know to be careful with these plays. All right. Where are we? Um, let's go see what our portfolios are doing. A lot of our different portfolios. Da, 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 uh, live stream port. How, how do I have stocks in here? That's, that's not what live stream port. Well, that is interesting. Yeah, I'm on a live stream, Ryan. What, what, what do you No, No, what do you want, Ryan? Since you want to interrupt. The live stream. Ryan is here, folks. Ryan wants to introduce. Here we go. What do you want, Ryan? <laughs> Anything I can help you with, Ryan, while I'm talking to the VV Nation about stocks and stuff? Okay, Ryan says it's not a good time to buy. Thank you, Ryan. Noted. Uh, noted. Um, theme stocks for the week. And uh, I always, okay. India is a huge consumer of gold. I did play the Indian market for a little bit. Uh, theme stocks for the week. I think I'm looking at commodities. Let's go see what commodities are moving. Uh, the TBT. We're making money on that in the jockey club. Up 3.5% today. Copper is up. Silver is up. Lithium is up. Gold is up. What's down? Natural gas, palladium, platinum, uranium, oil, wheat, corn. Um, that's uranium as well. Gold, uh, stops there. 
So again, I do want to keep my eyes on on commodities. Normally, if if inflation is a problem, uh, commodities are rising. All right, um, let's go look at weekly customer picks. How many likes do we have, Joey? Glenn, which of those stocks survived your call? On which on which plays you're asking about, Tabula? How many likes we have? Fifty two. So I'll I'll give you six stocks. I'll give you six stocks today. Uh, don't ignore gold. Iran needs. Oh, listen, I'm not ignoring gold. I I still think that if I'm um if I'm looking at the difference between the two, I think silver's got a little bit more upside right now. I right, this bill's giving me the only stock I'm looking at today. That's all the stocks we're looking at. Uh, Modine, NRG. That's two. Uh, M N M D. That's three. P Y P L. That's four. GFI five PayPal's already there. A L A R that's six. Um, what else? Dell that's seven. How many likes you said we had? Right. Well, I gave you seven stocks, even though we had fifty-two. All right, that's it. Um, I'm not going to put any stocks into your portfolio today. Let's go see my portfolios. Ma midday. What does your portfolio look like? You're up three point two eight percent. You still ah? Oh, I got to put this on. I don't have my stops on. That sucks. Where's my stops? I think we're fine. I got stops in place. All right, I dig the stops on. Oh, we just got rid of XLE. I think. Oh, we got rid of every. Oh, we changed. I think so. It, we got rid of all of the stocks that were currently in there. I'm not going to do anything right now. Edit. What are we in? GLBRT kicker. We still in neutral. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to put anything in there. Um, Glenn has a potty mouth. What the hell did I say? When did I say it was wrong? I didn't say. I didn't say anything. All right, I'm not putting any stocks in here. Wow, Joey missed blanking it. He said sucks instead of sigh. <laughs> sigh. I don't have a potty. Let's go look at your stocks. Um, let's, let's graph them all. Uh, let's put this on a three-month graph. Wow, NRG looks good. Actually, we can look at this in the fast lane. Look at this. End of day. Looking at the star search graph, look at that. That's a beautiful looking equity curve. I wouldn't buy it right now because of the uh, red bars, but if you are in NRG right now, you're fine. You're fine. How is the challenge portfolio going? What do you mean? I, I, I don't think I have access to that. Um, portfolios, I don't think I have access to that. Uh, Hold on. Let's go to my contest portfolios. I don't, yeah, I'm not in it. Um, I'm not in it, so I can't see what everybody else is doing. I have to put in to, to set it up, but I'm, I'm not in it. I'm not in it, so I can't see. Vector Vest ETF challenge. Uh, 628, 628. I'm not in it. Oh, hold on. Can I still see the leaderboards? I can. Look at that. Somebody's up 18.64%. Somebody's down 20%. Look at that. So we can see. What is this? A number 52. Details. Transactions. Trading system. Let me see if I can see. It has GDXU. And it's up 18.65%. So it's got an ETF in there. This one has got nothing. And it's up 6.75. What else is in here? SOXL, the long side, it's down. All right, if you have, you have Vector Vest 7, you can see that. If you have Vector Vest 7, all you need to do is go to the leaderboards, detach that. You can see where everybody is. All right. So let me continue looking at these stocks. I like NRG. 
I do like NRG in the fast lane and still moving. I like the pick. Modine was a hot stock. It is going bottom left, top right, but back and forth in the lanes. Right now, it just went into the, the slow lane. I wouldn't still be in it right now. I wouldn't still be in it right now. Alar, man, in and out of the fast lane. There's the trend line. Connect that trend line. Now, it's kind of interesting. Longer term, looking at the trend line, you can still be in it. Um, back and forth. It's still in the fast lane right now, but a lot, a lot of wick like we had here. Shooting star, follow through, went to the middle lane, responded and rebounded and got my, wow, my wife's not traveling this week. All right. And then there we go. Um, big wick at the top of this candle. Alarum is still moving. There's no, it's actually, let's go change the layout again. Let's go to, oh, we got an MPI live stream, don't we? Did I create that here? I think I did. Didn't I create that? Live stream MPI. All right. And I added a couple of things. I added a 20 day and I added volume. So from the MPI, we still got trend. The 20 day shows trend. Shorter term people who want to take their profits quick, there's the trigger out. But if you're longer term, I like it. All right. If you're longer term, I like it. Pennywise says it's going <coughs> to hit $30 soon. How about, I believe for many of you, we were the first peoples that put you on to this. That's not a bad thing, huh? This is why you want to subscribe to the channel. This is just why. This is a stock that wasn't on a lot of people's radar until we started talking about it. All right. Let's go to the next stock. Wow. GFI got hit. Still trend, still trigger. I'm watching the volume. Uh, it's pulled out. Man, big volume here on the first pullout, but not the second Not the second day. I'd be careful with it. I'd be careful with it. Uh, I wouldn't be afraid. Nice move up. I wouldn't be afraid to take half off the, uh, half off the table right here. If you're not already doing that. Next one, Dell. Interesting. Gapped up, came down to the 20 and a line of support, which was uh, right in the middle. Came down to the 20 and a line of support. Right now, broke below the 20, back above. Trend is still there, lost trigger. Volume is depleting a little bit. <laughs> if I'm going to take a stock, I want to take a stock that's moving up on volume. I definitely want to do that. I'm not seeing that right now. PayPal, a little choppyosity going on on the last three months, back and forth. I think I could probably find a better stock to get into unless I wanted to be aggressive on it. Here's the trigger. Here's the trend. I could have rode that up. Rode that up, still stayed in it until it broke down below that 20 or we lost trend or we got trigger. None of that happened except for it did drop below the 20. All right. But it's a lot of volatile. Uh, Mind Medicine, this stock, when it makes the news, it does move. It is the bottom left, top right. Um, bouncing off this level of support, which is a 20 day. We still have trend. Trigger would have gotten you out here. That would have been a good move prior to now. I liked this layout, depending on how you invest in the market, you can get in and out. Um, not only do I have trend, I can see even a 20. I like this layout. This, let me ask everybody out there, since we've started talking about the MPI, and now I did a little bit of additions. Do you find this useful in making decisions and what to do with your stocks? Yes or no? With the additions that I've made to the MPI, putting on the 20 day exponential moving average, putting on volume. Does this help you with making decisions um, with stocks? All right. MPI is great by itself, Bill. I just added a couple of things for, for our live streams. I just added a couple of things. Um, that company, uh, what is it? Psychedelics into mental health meds. Um, you know something? I ain't never did hype psychedelics. I don't know what that would do to me, but I don't have mental health issues. Shut up, Joey. That's not a nice thing to say. Apologize. It's not nice. And there's nothing wrong with my mental status. 
show. It helps in a down market, says Lee. And you know something, a lot. Of, remember, we talk about 80% of the stocks move with the direction of the market. How about if you're trying to find the 20% that, that are not moving, then this might help you just a little bit. How about that? How about that? Blair says, use it all the time. I love that. Recently obtained a breakthrough status from the FDA. So even if that's the case, an FDA could push the stock higher. It ain't doing it yet, Pennywise. It ain't, it ain't here yet. Joey simply stated what we were all thinking. Wow. Wow. That hurt, Mike. I'm going to cry a little bit. I'm so going to cry a little bit. There... <coughs> Uh, Pennywise says they're currently finishing up phase two trials. And you know something? Right now it's news. Pennywise, tell you what I'm looking for. Right now it's news. I'm going to put a little level of support right about here, 954. Let's see what it does from here. I'd like to see it break above the three month high, though. Joey ain't wrong. Really? Y'all, y'all are some messed up folk today. Y'all are some messed up folk. Janice, you got my back. Somebody got my back. Y'all some messed up folk today. It's all right. That was my last stock, by the way. Nobody's got my back. Man up, Bunky. You tossed us a lob. All right. It's all right. Remember, I'm the guy that comes here. I'm the guy that comes and talks to you. Mm -hmm. Glenn, you are saying the rest of us are mad. There you go. Don't blame it on Joey. Wow. Consider the source. Wow. Put me on my last screen. I'm mad at everybody in the room now. Janet says, I got your back. But you did kind of set yourself up. <laughs> wow. <coughs> wow. All right. It's all right. It's all right. Um, that's all I got for today. Um, again, uh, Ron was supposed to be here. Hopefully, I at least give you gave you enough information to go support him today or support him for his next uh, live event. It's free. It's free. Dan says, appreciate you, Glenn. Thank you. Bob says, I got your back. Don't worry about the Joey lovers. Okay, there you go. There you go. I appreciate it. No, that was for you to consider the source of the cuts. Oh, okay. There you go. All right, folks. You know me. I love you guys to death. Um, we got you prepared to understand what happened over the weekend, how this may play out going into the week. Don't miss today's uh, tonight's video my top weekly defense picks for both U.S. and Canada. For U.S. and Canada. Kiwi, meow. Meow and at Glenn. There you go. I love that name. I love that name. Amir says he's got my back as well. All right. So there's enough love for both you guys to go around. That's true. Joey's a big guy, though. He takes up a lot of that love. In his medium shirt today. He's got, he's got a, um, a master shirt. He didn't get me one. He got, it's a nice looking shirt. It's a nice look. He got a master shirt on today. Uh, mark it down. People are upset. There's no need to, no need to be upset. The market's going to go up. Market's going to go down. My job is to help you to make money no matter what the market's doing. That's what we do. All right. So I've given you some fish. I've told you what to look for. Be careful of the market. I don't want you to lose money. Make sure you have your stops in place. All right. Make sure you get your, you keep your market, you keep all your stuff in it. You pull your stuff. Watch tonight's video. All right, I got to go. Adios, Rivederci, ciao, au revoir, sayonara, aloha to all my peeps in Hawaii. Uh, Odabu, bom dia. Salam, shalom, namaste, yasu. Until next time, folks, see ya.